I know why I 
time nothing would seem so wrong here If they'd only realize that I was born for you And that you were born for me And in this random world This was clearly meant to be What we have the world could be Of that love, we ask you through Christ, our Lord. 
Amen. Please. Please all give to the to the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Because you are God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with heartfelt mercy, with kindness and humility, meekness and patience. Bear with one another, forgive whatever grievances you have against one another. Pray in your heart, since as members of the body, you have been called to God for peace. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Let the word of Christ reach us into you. Dwell in you. In wisdom, make perfect instruction and punish one another, Christ. Give thanks to God the Father. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. We sponsor your song, our response with you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. And those who hold in his love. The earth, the earth is full of the goodness of the, of the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. In Him do our hearts find joy. We trust in His holy name. Praise God the Lord with you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please all stand for the reading of the Gospel. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. I have told you this so that my own joy may be in you, and your joy may be complete. For the light. Please be seated for a while. Hanggang alaw na tayo dito po. Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat, mga kapatid. Sa atin na sasaksihan ngayon, ito ang pagpatunay ng ating Panginoon tungkol sa tinatawag nating sakramento ng kasal. Sa limang taon na kanilang pagsasama, ipinagkalob nilang kanilang buhay sa bawat isa, ang ating mga kapatid na si Romy at si Delia. Alam niyo po, ang kasal sa ngayon ay isang isyo na napakahalaga sa buhay ng ating simbahan, the life of the church. Dahil sa ngayon po, napakalaki at napakarami po ng problema tungkol po sa kasalan ito. Ano ba itong kasal nito para sa ating pag-iisip? Alam niyo po mga kapatid, sa katunayan po, ngayon ay tayo nagkakaroon ng great chaos regarding the sacrament of marriage because of that annulment and because of that legal separation. Nakikita po natin ang pagsasama ng dalawang tao, ang asawa, the husband and the wife. Makikita din po natin yung pagpatunay ng kanilang pagmamahalan, hindi lang po sa kaligayahan, kundi sa kapighatian din po, sa kalungkutan at sa kaligayahan. Dito po nila mamalas yung tinatawag natin po the reality of marriage. At ang problema po na kasalalay doon ay ang pong pagpapatunay din ng kanilang pagiging mature sa pagtanggap nito. Kaya sa ngayon pong araw nito ay binibigyan naman tayo ng biyaya ng Panginoon lalong-lalo na sa ating kapatid na Romy at sa ating kapatid na Delia. Another five years ang kanila pong aatupagin sa kanilang buhay upang makamit nila ang tunay na ligaya at ang tunay na tagumpay sa pangalan ng kasalang ito. So for you, my dear brother and sister, we again congratulate you on this joyous occasion as you will renew again your marital relationship and marital vows or marriage vows in the eyes of God and in the eyes of man. Nung ngayon po ay umpisahan naman natin renew the marriage vows. Mari po ba ito kayo ang mga ninongs at ang mga ninangs. Kung mari po ay lumapit kayo din eh. As we will act again as witnesses in this bond which our brother and sister will lead you today. Brother Romy and Sister Delia, remember that you are here again today to seal your love with eternal bond before the church. I assure you of your prayers of our community that God may pour his abundant blessings on your love and help you to carry out the duties of the marriage state. And you, my dear Ninangs and Ninongs, may I again ask you to help them with your prayers and accept them as a new couple 
a renewed couple in our Christian community. Now, Delia and Romy may ask you to answer the following questions again religiously. Delia, do you again reaffirm your marriage vows to your husband, Romy, in the eyes of God and in the eyes of man? Yes, Father. Romy, do you reaffirm again your marriage vows in the eyes of God and in the eyes of man to our sister Delia? Yes, Father. Are you both ready again to raise the blessings and the goodness of the Lord upon your children as true Christians in our community? Yes, I do. Yes, Father. Now, Romy and Delia, since you wish again to renew your, your married marriage vows, please join your right hands. And will you please face one another, looking again into the eyes of love as you express your intentions before God and His Church. Beloved Romy and Delia, you stand here before the Lord to give Him thanks for having shown you His love in a very special way when He blessed and consecrated your love on the day of your marriage. Assuring you to stand by your side in your every need, He entrusted the success of your married life to you as a task and as a gift. You thank Him now, O Lord, our Lord, for all these years of shared joys and sacrifices perhaps also sorrows and struggles which part of your life you still need him now that you may continue on the way of love and loyalty which cannot go on growing this christian community will ask that success through our lord jesus christ's presence in you and rejoices with you and ask the lord as well that he may bless you and keep your heart Go on growing and love keep on growing as well. Now may I ask you again, my dear friends, to pray this marriage vows in the eyes of God and in the eyes of man. as to find a home and family. We look back with gratitude on the years you have given us together. Help us to avoid the mistakes of the past and sustain our love with your love that in every growing unity of heart and soul we may reach together you and us ending marriage, peace, and heaven. Bless this our wish and test. Now, my dear brother and sister, may the Lord confirm once more the consent which you have renewed before Him and before the Church, which I and this community, your ninos and your ninangs, represent. And may the Almighty God bless you now and continue blessing your union, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Now, Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 Bless the Lord again your servants, Romy and Delia, with sufficiency of material possessions, which this array symbolize, so that they may use them again in their love and in the success as a part of their life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless also this ring, O Lord, so that your servants, Delia and Romy, who wear them, may ever live in mutual love and an unbroken loyalty. This we ask through Christ our Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
wear this ring again as a sign of my love and loyalty in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Rami, wear this ring again as a sign of my love and loyalty in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. to your welfare in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and I accept them again congratulations God bless you best Jesus God bless you my dear friends let us give them a big round of applause that a sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father for the praise and the glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church please stand them together now bless them again till the end of their married life we ask this through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and also with lift up your hearts we lift him up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right to give in thanks and praise Father all powerful and ever living God we do will always and everywhere to give you thanks by this sacrament your grace unites men and women in an unbreakable bond of love and peace you have designed the chaste love of husband and wife for the increase both of the human family and your own family born in baptism through Christ the choirs and all the angels and saints praise and worship your glory may our voices blend with theirs as we join in their unending hymn of praise holy holy holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God, God of power and might, might heaven and earth are full, full of your glory Hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. The body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you.
lifted, he took the cup. Again he gave you thanks and praise. He gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with John Paul, our Pope, Jaime, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to the rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the Apostles, and with all the saints of John, your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Now, my dear friends, with confidence to the Father, let us again pray the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Father. joined again to her husband in marriage she asks your blessing give her the grace of love and peace may she always follow the example of the holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures may her husband Romy put his trust again and remember that she is always the equal as he will give that blessing and praises to our Lord as well for all the graces he will receive from our Lord. Lord, let Romy love her 
and honor her as Christ loves his bride, the church. Father, keep them always true to your commandments and help them, O Lord, until the end of their married life. We ask this our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to our apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, may the peace and love of the Lord be always with you. And also you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you again. Of our Lord Jesus Christ, we lead us all to our life everlasting. Amen. respect to your ninongs and ninangs, kailangan magmano kayo sa kanila. Romy, that is a sign of respect you can give to them at magpalaki din niya ng pakimkim mamaya. <laughs> Let us give them a big applause, please. Let us pray. Please all stand. In your love, you have given us this Eucharist to unite us with one another and with you. As you have made Romy and Delia one of the sacraments of marriage and in the sharing of the one bread and the one cup, so now, Lord, make them one in love for each other. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Now will you please bow your heads and pray again for God's blessing. May you have now two friends to stand by you, both in joy and in sorrow. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Once again, let us give them a big applause.
shall leave his mother and a woman leave her home. They shall travel on to where the two should be as one, as it was in the beginning, is now until the end. Woman draws her life from man.
That's not the way love goes. No, love moves in mysterious ways. It's always so surprising. Stay.